You know how hard it was to find an insurance company to insure somebody who's making, who's using 3D printers to make stuff? No joke, literally, they would said to me, nobody wants to insure you because 3D printers can make guns. That's what they said, no joke. Uh, <laughs> basically, if you 3D print guns, like, completely 3D print, fully plastic, they aren't very effective, and they last, like, two or three shots at best, and then it's over. Uh, they, they melt down. The plastics are, uh, weak against heat, you know, like, you have to send them through a heated nozzle, obviously. They're not very good at being heated. And on top of that, uh, that's what a gun is all about. It's like creating an explosion. So naturally the plastics wouldn't hold up. However, I looked into this for insurance purposes. I looked into this heavily. If you get a certain, like if you use a barrel, a metal barrel, if you buy a metal pipe from like Lowe's or something, and you add that, like you replace the parts of the gun that are exposed to heat the most, um, and then you three you three D print the parts that aren't exposed to heat, like the grip, and you know the certain other parts, firing pin, whatever else. Um, you can you can three D print the parts for a gun and and have a functioning gun um, that will last just as long as any other gun and function just as well um it's basically there are ways to make untraceable guns with 3d printed parts is the whole damn it i suck is the whole thing and that's why people get all freaked out about it you can't do it with entirely 3d printed parts but you can use 3d printers to make untraceable guns it's way, way, way more worth it to just buy a gun. Higher quality guns, you know, uh, higher, it's, metal guns are far higher quality, but plastic 3D printed ones are significantly harder to trace. You can create one from scratch with nothing but a 3D printer and the government would never know that you had it, you know, that's, that's one of the top benefits is like the government is completely oblivious to the fact that it, it exists at all and that's pretty concerning cnc machines are a subtractive device rather than an additive device so 3d printing you're, you're adding filament in putting it down layer by layer until you have the product that you want cnc machines are a subtractive all right i'm getting out of this level this one sucks uh they are a subtractive thing so what you're doing with that is you're removing parts until it's shaped the way you want you start with a big block of metal or wood or whatever else and then you remove parts from it and yeah sure you you can make you know 3D, or I'm sorry, you can make CNC machine guns. You can, you know, hollow out a barrel with a CNC machine and all kinds of stuff. That's an option. And nobody freaks out about that. Like, no one, no one freaks out about you owning a CNC machine because there's a risk that maybe you're going to use it for nefarious purposes. But 3D printers, man, they have, like... A terrible reputation. I honestly just do not get it. Seriously, it's way easier and more efficient to make guns with other things. I just don't understand why people are so afraid of 3D printers. Blows my mind. Part of it's there are parts you 3D print that would make the gun illegal, for example. Yeah. Uh, untraceable is the thing. Like... When you buy a gun, there's a serial number on it, and that serial number 
can't easily be taken off. Um, but you can 3D print a new piece that doesn't have a serial number on it. You know? And that's like one of the big benefits to 3D printed guns is the fact that you can replace the parts that are hard to replace with 3D printed pieces, basically. Aw, oh, man, I missed that. That sucks. Turn the gun from semi-automatic to automatic. Yeah, there are parts that you can print that, that will kind of do that. Um, but that's actually a really compli- Yeah, I mean, you, you're right. Yeah, that's true. That's a complicated process and requires a lot of technical... I feel like if you're really worried about people 3D printing guns, you, you should be far more worried about them using CNC machines to make guns. Because CNC machines and 3D printers are basically exactly... I mean, they're, they require the exact same level of skill to operate. And CNC machines are far more efficient at making guns, basically. I mean, making... Producing guns is against the law. Um, I mean, if I really wanted, I could... You know, I, I have drain cleaner under my sink, and... I don't know. I... You know, I have bleach and ammonia under my sink. Are you going to cancel my insurance for having those two chemicals down there? I mean, I could make chlorine gas. I could make a gun... I could make chlorine gas easier than I could make a gun. Right, but you're not canceling my insurance for that. You're canceling my insurance for having a 3D printer. Give me a fucking break, man. It just... God... I feel like sometimes people just don't think things through logically at all, you know? Like, just think for three seconds, and you'll realize how ridiculous your logic is, you know? Typical go after people selling blueprints and not 3D printers themselves, right? That's true, they do go after people selling the blueprints, although there was a court ruling recently that said that it is perfectly legal, I believe, it's perfectly legal to sell the 3D printer files, like the 3D models, for guns or, or gun parts. It's legal to sell them, or to sell them or own them. Uh, that was a recent court ruling, a couple of years old, I think. And I honestly, I, I'm totally against that. I don't, I don't think that's right at all. On the flippity flip, cartels are not using 3D printed guns right now. Do you know why? Because metal guns are way more efficient. They're way better. Metal guns are just simply better. The only benefit plastic guns have are that they're untraceable. Honestly, cart Oop. Honestly cartels don't give a shit if they're traceable or not. I don't believe, you know. Um, and what, what do you really need an untraceable gun for anyways? You know, like, what do you really need that for? Like, okay, the government doesn't know you have it. Awesome. Are you going to use it to shoot somebody? What's your whole plan here? I mean, they're going to investigate a murder if a murder happens, you know? One way or another. So, oh my god, I suck. Why do you want to make a gun with shitty 3D plastic? Like, make make an untraceable gun the right way with, like, the real parts in the metal. The thing is, there's a high... What's the word? Uh, there's a specific term for this. Barrier to entry. There's a high barrier to entry for gunsmithing. It's, it's hard. It's difficult. Uh, it's complicated. It's not easy. And... 3D printing, ostensibly, makes it easier, but really it doesn't. I mean, 3D printing a gun is still really fucking hard. Uh, you know, you've gotta... Oh, God, I'm terrible at this level. You've gotta know how to 3D print the parts with just the right settings, just the right line width and thickness and... and 
everything. And you have to know how to, like, bore a barrel. Because you can't just use any, you know, metal pipe. You have to give it a bore. If you don't give it a bore, the bullet's gonna go flying every which way. Like, that's the point of creating, like, a spiral pattern inside of the barrel. Is so that the... So that the bullet has, like, a trajectory and it goes straight. You want the bullet spinning so that it goes out straight, basically. It lowers the barrier of entry to make guns a little bit, but it doesn't lower the barrier of entry to make guns right, or to make them correctly. You know, that's, that's still very complicated. And I just, honestly, I don't feel like it's fair for them to, like, jack up my insurance just because I'm using 3D printers. General liability insurance usually costs I don't, between 30 and $70, depending on the area and who you're going with and what you're using and blah, blah, blah. I'm paying 150, oh, I forgot to jump. $150, $150 a month because I use 3D printers. That jump was totally unintentional. $150 a month, as opposed to like 50. Three times as expensive because I'm using 3D printers. Uh, let's see, shouldn't be making a weapon that can backfire, lol. That's true. 3D printed guns are not, not safe at all, honestly. Oop. Hmm? Please no stock NSA. I'll say that then. Please no stock NSA. <laughs> you know, back in the day when I was a teenager, I had the Anarchist's Cookbook. It's this big ass book that was banned for a while. No longer banned. Um, I don't believe. Oh my god, I suck. No longer banned, but it was like a big description of how to do all this stuff. Not to mention the fact that I was in chemistry for like a year, two semesters. I went to school for chemistry. Um, wow, I thought I was supposed to uh, take that shell, damn it. So I know how all this works. There is a lot of cool stuff in that book, the Anarchist Cookbook. Of course, I, I have no real use for it. I just find it fascinating. I just find it super, super interesting, personally. You learn a lot of the stuff that you would normally find in the anarchist cookbook in chemistry classes. So. Do we have a resident mad scientist? Well, I, I found it fascinating to read about this stuff, at the very least. You know, I wanted to know how all this worked. And it's honestly really straightforward, like... All of this stuff is super straightforward and easily available, too. At least partially because of situations that you find in Ukraine, for example, you know? I mean, the Ukrainian government was broadcasting on the radio and the TV how to make Molotov cocktails when all of this started, you know? So, it's, it's not like the information is hidden from the public. It, it's just, it takes some basic cursory searches to find. That's it. 